Hi, this is Guy Delosier, Senior Applications Engineer for Go Engineer. Today I want to talk about unabsorbed feature. Uh, unabsorbed feature is something that's been around for a long time that a lot of people don't know about, and it allows us to edit things like this sweep easily. Now, when you make this sweep, these sketches here, Sketch 1 and 3D Sketch 1, uh, are absorbed into the feature uh, when the feature is made. If I look at a different model here, uh, this hand wheel, uh, this this sketch one was absorbed into the hub. Uh, sketch two was absorbed into the rim. Uh, a couple of sketches were absorbed into the spoke. So those things were absorbed into um, those features. Now to get in here and make some major changes to this sometimes can be uh, a problem because of of the hierarchy of uh, order of operations and things uh, sometimes it doesn't want to let you insert things in between here now if we look at this little ring over here um, it's got a 3d sketch and if I turn that on um, and then there's also a profile sketch here I'll turn it on also let me hide the solid body here for a second now this square profile needs to follow this three-dimensional sketch over here well, great, but the the design intent is for this thing to go around this uh, path and stay flat or reasonably flat. Well, the problem is this is like a 90 degree turn here uh, on the sides, not not very uh, uh, good in the way it's handling the twist on this. Okay, so what I want to do here uh, is I want to make myself uh, a two-dimensional sketch that the uh, square will follow first and then as a secondary operation cause it to undulate or move up and down uh, with the 3D sketch. So that should flatten this out. But to get that sketch in here where I need it uh, is a little bit of a problem. Now, what I can do is I can grab my rollback bar here and just drag it up. Come on, if I get a hold of it between my sketch and my feature. I get a message. Temporarily unabsorb the feature and the features I'm going to unabsorb are the two sketches, Sketch 1 and the 3D Sketch 1. Of course I could dismiss this but that doesn't do much for showing people things does it? So I can say OK here and now it puts my sweep clear to the bottom it put, makes my 3D sketch available, uh, and if I pull my rollback bar down, it'll make my 2D, I mean my uh, uh, profile sketch available. So what I want to do here um, to make this thing work is I want to pick a appropriate plane. I believe it's the front plane here. Yeah, the front plane, uh, and I'm going to open a sketch on the front plane. Uh, I'm going to pick my 3D sketch and convert entity. So that makes me a 2D sketch. When I look at this thing from the front view, there's a 2D sketch that's exactly the same as a 3D sketch, except it doesn't undulate up and down. It's just on a plane. OK. Well, handy dandy. That's great. So now if I drag my rollback bar down so I can see my square here, what I need to do is edit my um, uh, square uh, profile sketch and just take a center line and attach this with a Pierce relationship to my uh, 2D sketch. Pierce. Boom. There we go. Oh well. Alright then. So now I have a fully defined sketch and I can say OK. And when I drag my rollback bar down to reabsorb these features, nothing has really changed because um, I haven't changed my sweep to incorporate that new sketch. OK, so I can edit my sketch or my sweep, I'm sorry, edit my, uh, my sweep um, and get rid of the path sketch here, um, get it out of my uh, um, tree and uh, use the 2D sketch. So now this is going nice and flat. Look at that. Isn't that great? And then as a secondary operation I wanted to follow this. Sort of like the carousel or merry-go-round at the amusement park for the kids. We got the, we got the flat 
um, turntable that the parents can stand on next to the horses um, as the thing goes round and round and then the horses while they're going round and round go up and down and that's kind of what we want here we want these uh, uh, the sketch I mean this uh, uh, profile to follow the 2d sketch and then as a secondary operation go up and down so now when we look at this thing if I hide my sketches um, don't need to really see those now and I can turn off those axes. Don't need to see that. All right. So now we can see that this thing is reasonably flat all the way around. Not perfect, but pretty good. And that's a vast improvement over the way we want to. So unabsorbed sketch here uh, is the name of the game. Now, recently SolidWorks has given us additional tools to accomplish the same thing. So if I get rid of this for a second and open it back up again, <clears throat> open recent, and that's my controlling twist. Okay, so this is still all twisted up. Okay, <clears throat> we can do the same thing. Turn off that axis. I see that we can we can get to the same um, situation here by right clicking up on the uh, part file name at the top of the feature tree. Go to tree display and show flat tree view. This basically um, gives us the same sort of uh, situation as unabsorb and then I can drag my rollback bar up here and work just on the 3D sketch first, um, make my 2D sketch, drag this down and attach this because if you if you try to make your 2D sketch after this it's not going to work. You got to roll this thing back uh, to get it in the proper order so you can attach things. So this makes it um, a little easier. You don't have to uh, um, drag your rollback bar up between the things uh, and unabsorb the sketches. So we get to the same place with a little bit uh, different, <clears throat> pardon me, a little bit different controlling um, abilities here. So I can go back to tree display and show uh, flat unchecked show flat tree display so that I can see my absorbed and unabsorbed features again. So this is Guy Delosier, Go Engineer. I uh, hope you had a, a very informative uh, session here and uh, I'll see you down the road. Mm -hmm.